You know it's weird. You always remember your first love. I remember our first day of high school like it was yesterday. We had three classes together. Earth Science, Music Appreciation, which I didn't appreciate at all, and Language Arts. Which I love because, you know, I was a, you know, I, I was a freestyle battle rapper back in high school. So, you know, I used to learn all kind of new words I could use up in my rhymes and stuff. But anyway, I remember the time I first saw you. I still remember, man. I thought you looked like Maya. You know, back in the day, man, Maya was fine, man. You know, things have changed now. You know, everybody, you know, talking about Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion and stuff. But, you know, back in the day, boy, you know, it, it, the women didn't go to the build a body workshop. <laughs> you know, it was, you just had what you naturally had, man. And that girl was fine, man. Just like Maya or somebody, man. And, you know, I had to be patient with you because in a lot of ways... I remember that first time you asked me to walk with you from class to class. And I even made you them little mix CDs, you remember? Hit the Alicia Keys up on there, Usher, you know, Jagged Edge, man, you know, I had all that nice little stuff on there. You know, that Jagged Edge was a little throwback, but you kind of liked the little throwback stuff, you know? So I even got that up on there for you, you know? And you don't know that I really went to the, uh, I went down to the, um, to the dang, what you call it, to the, over there to the discount mall, you know, over there with them Africans. And you, you don't know I had to go over there, you know, and I ain't had no car back then, so, you know, I had to walk over there. And, you know, them boys over there on Madison, man, they get you real quick, you know, but that's what I did for you, though, baby. You know? And you ain't know, you know, about all being one of the only white boys at school, though, do you? You know, you don't remember that day. I bet you don't remember that day. That you had to do your project. And you got that extension on it. And you wanted me to help you with it. But what you didn't know is I called out from work to help you with it. See, you ain't know that, did you? You ain't know that I gave up my little, um, you know, I wasn't making much minimum wage. But you don't know I gave up that minimum wage for you. You don't know that, man. But I know you remember that day I helped you, though. I walked you home from school. But you ain't know about that letter I had written you. All the things I put into making them CDs. I was trying to tell you how I felt. I wasn't just giving you all them love songs just to be giving them to you. I was giving them to you because I was trying to tell you something. And you know, you ain't even get to read it. The EMTs and paramedics threw that mug out, man, when they had to cut me out of my clothes. I even told my daddy about you. And that was the last thing I was going to tell you. I was going to, you know, I was going to tell you about how I told him about you. You know, I really don't even be talking to my daddy like that. You know, because he always got this lame advice. Or he always either don't care. Us. You know, I wasn't going to even talk to him. But I went on and even told him about you. That's how happy I was, man. And that was the last thing I was going to tell you when they started shooting. And I still don't know why us. But either way, I jumped over the bullets and I shielded you. And I seen you go through therapy. And I was right there with you at your surgery. And I'm here now. And you know, I can tell that you can sense me around you. 
but I don't try to scare you. You know, I practice moving things around my daddy house. So I just know how to just move it just a little bit so you can you can know him now, but not be too scared. But I don't go around that much after my funeral. And I'm glad you and him kept in touch. And you still remember me. Even though I'm gone and I'm a ghost, you still have never forgotten me. And you were there for me when I took my last breath. And it's been four years now and I don't... I don't know where else to go. And yeah, that was me. And <laughs> not that mixing E off the shelf. You know, thank you for playing it. But I wish you didn't cry. I, I wish that you knew I was I was right there with you, vibing to every song. I wish that you knew that every track that played gave me some good memories. I feel like I want to move on. You know, one day you going to move on. One day you going to grow and do things different. One day you're going to become the woman that you're going to become. One day, you're not going to remember me. When the CDs turn into MP3s. But every now and then, when you turn on the Steve Harvey radio show or something and he played them old school songs back from the 2000s you'll remember me <laughs> and you'll smile <laughs> <laughs>